welcome to Palom Hike. Today we're back on the National Trail. So we're back on a trail that I did before. It's one of my favorite trail, but I never camped here. So we're gonna go and camp near the lake. So one nighter on the Quebec National Trail. The reason I love this trail so much is because you have pretty much everything here except waterfalls but you have 360 super views all around uh, you have a nice mountain it's not too long it's free uh, you have a f the parking is free right next to a lake uh, Petit Caribou Lake and you can swim there before or after when you come back so all sweaty you can swim before going back home uh, the camp is right after the mountain and it's also it's free and it's right next to uh, Nata Lake and beautiful lake you can swim you can go fishing you know, there's a lot of options there and a couple of years ago there was a toilet also at the camp I don't know if it's still there we're gonna check with COVID and my new job I work night shift in a youth center uh, I wasn't able to camp as much as I wanted this year so I'm really glad that I'm able to actually go camping and use my Lanchan Pro one-person tent. With these kinds of bags I cannot reach the water bottle like many people. My arms are not that flexible so I don't drink as much you know if I have to drop my bag all the time you know and a water bladder I don't mind during day hikes but during long hikes I don't like it so I found this little pocket same company 3UF you have a little bucket in the front if you want to put like you know chapstick or a lot of people put earphones and uh, iPods or whatever that you can do but you can put like small water bottle like that so I carry a big one like a, a litter in the back and I carry this one which I think is 500 or 750 ml in the front so this could be just for like juice and stuff and the other one's water for your cooking stuff like that but it's so easy to access when you want to drink yeah so I kind of like it I'll put the link of it if anybody is interested probably would fit on many different types of uh, bags but it's mostly made for the 3FUL like this. There's so many point of view on this mountain and it's just incredible. Such a beautiful mountain. Come check it out. So I reached Nantel Lake. This is like the first part. So the camp is just a bit further, almost there, like maybe five minutes. Mm -hmm. 
Well, the platforms were mostly taken. The one that were left were far away from the water and close to the bathroom, so nah. <laughs> I wanted to be able to go and swim and, f and go fishing a bit. So I found a spot. There's a lot of people, people are having fun, it's fine. So oh, every time I came here there was no one, but it's 30 degrees outside, it's a beautiful day, so I guess it's normal, but there's so many places that you can camp. I found one hell of a spot. Lanchan Pro, Lanchan 1 Pro, fit super well. Look at this. My setup is there. The trail is all the way there. So I'm not going to be bothered because people need to climb and everything. My stuff for now, the water is right there. And if I walk, watch this. I can sit down and have a fire here and look at this and I plan to go swimming and I just have to walk and do it and it's pretty deep so I can swim <laughs> it is actually pretty cool I made dehydrated maple bacon beans. Just add boiling water to it and they're ready to go. Put that in a freezer Ziploc bag so they withstand the heat no problem. I'm just using alcohol stove and I'm gonna make a little fire later but yeah it's faster with that. And a coffee. Yeah I know I'm weird. It's like 30 degrees outside and I'm drinking coffee. Such a nice day. So to resume everything, it was a great day, great hike, super view, great lake, uh, fishing didn't work, but <laughs> I'm not good at it, but, so it's, it's just me. Uh, swimming, everything, the water is perfect, it's clear, it's great temperature, the view is amazing, so what can I ask for more? You know, food was fine, fire, everything. So.
Hey, good morning. So I just woke up. It's around six o'clock. I'm just gonna pack everything, have a little breakfast, and probably breakfast on the go. I'm gonna drink my cold coffee and just get back to the car. Last night, I woke up for a nature call around two, and oh my God, this sky. This sky is so beautiful. We don't have that in the city, you know, so many stars. You could see the Milky Way, you could see everything. And I would just lay down and just watch the millions of stars and probably planets. I'm not good at this, but some were brighter than others, so I guess. And then boom, boom, flying stars just appears in front of my face. Just, just amazing. I, I just loved that moment. It was very precious. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss any future video. Thanks for watching.